Jags, tell us a bit about your life away from, from football, away from Everton. How, how do you enjoy spending your time? Uh, I've got a young family. I've got a little girl who's, who's seven, a little boy who's five. So um, they obviously go to school when they're not at school. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, downtime, whether in the back garden or in, on the front f front garden and stuff. Um, you know, being quite active. Um, you know, trying to help out with the homework sometimes is a little bit too difficult, so I have to get their mum involved. Uh, I, I play as much golf as I can, especially now the weather's um, come a little bit nicer. But no, it's basically taken up mostly by uh, the other family time. You know, I'm, I'm really glad to have such a young family. You know, I'm not exactly old myself, but it's nice to be able to spend some, some good time with them. Tell us a bit about your golfing game. Did you play with many of the lads here? None of, none of the lads really play other than Gibbo, um, unfortunately. Um, the only lads I really ever play with is when we go away, obviously with England for long trips. Um, you know, the boys often get a game of golf down at the hotel. But um, no, I normally play with my dad. I'm a best mate, really. Um, you know, it, gives us, um, it gives me a lot of a time to, to sort of spend with my dad, uh, laughing and joking. We, you know, we treat each other more like friends and, and abuse each other more like uh, friends. You know, with some of the language and stuff that we use. But you know, that that keeps him young. It keeps you know the relationship between me and me and my dad really good. So. Um, they're, they're the sort of the two main people I play golf with, but um, I say Gibbo's, Gibbo's um, I wouldn't say he's just joined, but obviously Gibbo's joined. We didn't have a very good summer last year, but I'm sure I'll be getting a few games of golf over the course of the next few weeks with, with Gibbo. When you're away with, with, with England, whether it be in, in tournament squads, international breaks, who do you play with there? Who are the good players in the England squad? Um, well, it's, it's, it's basically, well, obviously it depends who's in, in the squad at the time. Um, I think Millie's probably the best, he's off seven. Um, Joe Hart plays, Gaz Barry plays, Adam Johnson plays, Wayne plays, JT plays, Ash plays. Quite a few of the lads play because you know, sometimes the days can, can, can drag on a little bit. So to be able to get out in a buggy and sort of spend four hours, um, you know, either laughing and joking or crying and pulling your hairs out, uh, sometimes, you know, makes a little bit of a difference for the, for the few weeks you're away for. Do you have any particular television programmes, any films, any actors, any musicians you uh, like No, well? we end up going through series and stuff, do you know, when you're away or, or watching with the missus and stuff. So at the moment we're watching a series called Suits. So um, that's decent. And you, you normally get sort of a little vibe throughout the, the changing room that people go through different box sets. So he sort of tests that one, they test that one. And before you know it, everyone's looking for the next box set to have watched first, then to... You know, not not so much it gets competitive, but it's a case of, yeah, I've seen that or I've not seen, oh, I'll best add. And then, you know, um, quite a lot of the lads do end up watching box sets purely for the fact is obviously if you're in a hotel room for, for a significant amount of time, it, it does kill a little bit of time. I'll put you on the spot here. What was the last gig you went to, last concert you went to? <coughs> um, I think I went to, well, it was Rihanna. I, I think it was Rihanna, yeah, purely for uh, my little girl and... Uh, I say I knew I knew a few of the songs, but it was it was it was far too loud for me. So that's how uh, old I am these days.